First of all, I open the version of client and then I can create here a new project. Let's add first a new folder. I will call it library demo. And there I can add a new component. So we scroll here to Rockwell. PLC, and there I can add a new project. I call it Project A. Create a component. And all I need to do is to add now a project. I have here prepared an ACD file under Library Management Project A. So here it is, drag and drop. And then I can create the first version, which we call base version, and check in that structure from the client also to the server. Okay, second step, I add the library. Go again to Rockwell. And this will be my library one. Create a component. Add the library. Here it is. So I can drop it here and also create a base version and check it in. So now I have to tell the version of system which libraries should be used in which project. So therefore I go to the project and with a right mouse click I can enter here the component configuration and there is a button where I can assign standard libraries to the project A. So here I will let the system know I will use library one or more here in project A. So here I apply and then I have to create a new version and I assigned library one to the project A and create here a second version of the project. So from now on, VersionDoc knows that I use in Project A content of Library 1. And this is something we can do now. Let's open here um, with the editor button here the Project A to Eros Logics. So here you see already the, the main task. Then let's go and open also Library 1. Here we are. So, and there, let's have a look. Here I can take, um, for example, three routines. And I will take it here, drag and drop, so that I have used these three routines in my project A. Let's close the editors. Save, of course. And then you see here with the pen that we already modified the project here, the day and time. And by creating a new version, we can see what we have done. So we have added here the output triggering, the SOE data collecting, and the receipt data registers. Good. Here you can type in a change request with a number. And if you want here, you can explain what you have added. Um, I skipped that because uh, I see it in detail what happened, but normally you can add here detail comments to each uh, detected difference. Let's create a version and check it in. So we have now created version number 3. Good, let's close the version of the client and let's have a look here to the library management. This is the add-on for version doc. So when we open here the library management client, 
and we log in again. Then we can go here to the library demo. And there we see that we have added here these three routines. We can see the name of the routine and also that it is used in version 1. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we go back to the client, we can optimize, for example, the library. We have a new idea for better quality or for better quantity. So I go to the library, I open it again. And let's say here for the data collecting, I have an idea. There, maybe I need to add a function which improves something. So now we have made a change. I save it, close it, and of course, I will create a new version for the library. So here we see the difference. Yeah, in version 1 there was nothing, now I have added this function. Let's type in here a change request. And here, added new element for better quality. And then I can create a version and check it in. So we will have now version number 2. Okay, what happened now in the library management? Let's open it and have a look. So if I go now to the project, there I can see a new status. It's outdated, it says, for SOE data collecting for that routine. Why is it outdated? Well, the current version of the standard library is 2. But I used version 1 of the library in the project A. So that indicates I could update the standard which I got from library 1 in the project A. Okay, let's go back to the user client. Let's say we have a new employee. He's not really aware yet on our software standards. And he goes directly to the project, to the customer project, and is modifying their standard, which he should not do. So let's go again here. Let's go here to the routine which we used from the library as well. And let's say we change here something. I add here a new function as well. Save and close. Let's create a version documented change. Here you see that we added this function. So the new employee so he is working with version doc as well, documenting his changes. All that is done, but he was not aware that it's a standard. Huh? So, what happens now? Um, if we now go to the library management and have a look there, then we can see, oh, there is a new status which is called invalid. Why is it invalid? Well, here the reset data registers routine which we used from the standard library here, library 1. We used it in version 1, but the current status doesn't fit to any version in library 1 anymore. So it's not a software standard anymore. 